Hi guys, back with another video. In this video, I wanna talk about how to make your system more efficient. So I've done a checklist. Efficiency system checklist. So here it's got the radiator temperatures, the top and bottom of the radiator. In here, it talks about, is the boiler condensing, flow temperature, the return temperature? Is there a filter, is there a bypass? What's it set at? Is the boiler range rated? Has it got weather compensation? Is the pump, is it ERP or is it a conventional pump? A modern ERP pump, a pulse width modulation pump, that is £120 a year more efficient than a basic pump. A basic old fashioned pump uses the same amount of electricity as a fridge and freezer. So they really are quite dear. A PWM pump will look at the flow and return temperatures and it will modulate more. Range rating a boiler. So the advantage behind range rating a boiler, if you've got say a 36 kilowatt combi and the home is eight kilowatts of heat loss, rather than that boiler ramping up initially to 36 degrees, or sorry, 36 kilowatts, if you range rate the boiler, it will go to eight kilowatts. If you range rate a boiler as well, it will act more efficiently, but not only that, it will respond quicker because when you range rate a boiler, it knows how powerful it's got to be. So it'll go straight to eight kilowatts and it'll function straight away. Hot water temperature, I put Legionella and I've also put there, is there a temperature modulation valve on it? Enjoy. Also in this video, I'm using this. So a lot of plumbers, they use um, thermal imaging cameras and software. Um, I only do four or five installs a year. I can't afford that form of technology. And not only that, a lot of the work I do is for free, it's for charity. So this is an infrared thermometer using a beam. Can you see? Oh, I've got a bullet. Oh, oh. So the first radiator is a double panel, micro ball, and the convectors are dirty. So straight away, let's think about this. There's dirt in the convectors, there's dirt in the fins. That's gonna massively affect the efficiency because obviously a double panel convector radiator the heat will convect up. 85% of the heat goes up. So that's affecting it. It's micro ball, so for all we know, the pipe will be blocked up and there's no thermostatic valve. So here goes. So the heating's on, let's check the bottom of the... That's about 12 degrees. So let's write that down. Bottom 12. So the top 67. So far, lounge, no TRV, not balanced, cold at the bottom, warm at the top, sludge. So this situation, the tool works out quite good look because it's in the radiator cabinet. Let's go. 14, now I've just actually put this one on. So I'll come back to this one later. 14 and at the top, 22, oh yeah. You can tell it's just getting a flow supply to it. Look how quick that's increasing. Radiator, hall. I'll fill that out later on when the heating's been on a bit longer. So here we're on the bedroom radiator. 50 mil pipe work. 
TRV there. There's some leaking stains around that, so I can make a note of that. Fins are pretty filthy. And let's measure this radiator then, shall we? Sixteen point five. Let's measure the bottom of the radiator. About fifty two. Let's write this down in the form. Bedroom TRV, I'd say it's balanced. At the top, sixteen at the bottom, fifty two. And it's bleeding. It's got air in. So the next thing on the list, is it a condensating boiler? Here is the white pipe. So that tells me the boiler is relatively efficient. If it goes externally, remember it needs to be inch and a half and insulated. Descaler, to the boiler, gas label, that looks good. This has got a little hook on the maintenance of this filter. So let's just out of curiosity, this is a two or three year old install. Wow. Imagine if it didn't have a filter. Imagine that inside the heat exchanger. Wow. Look at the lumps. Let's move that to a light. That's bad. Next thing on the list is an PWM pump. Here we have one. So these pumps are a lot more efficient. An old basic pump really consumes as much electricity as a fridge and freezer put together. So that's an efficient pump there. I'm grateful, that's good. It's gonna get a tick. Now it's time for the hot water. This is in a school, so it's got a temperature mixing valve on. So here it is then. Top and bottom radiator temperatures. So the sludge, one is balancing, one, one's got air in. And this is what further to the boiler. 